Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, this video is basically what I got um, this January. And yeah, I'd say it's a pretty successful month based on what we got here. So I'll kind of kind of go over everything here. Starting off with, these aren't in order. I think the first thing I got this month was uh, Superstar Saga, but I'm not going to go in order. So, you know, we're going to start off with uh, Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania. Um, I don't really know Sonic games too much, but I've done some research. Apparently this game's not very good, but I was able to pick both these up for about $15, like, together, so that's pretty good. And then moving on here, we got Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. And then we have, as I said before, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga and Wario Land 4 on the Game Boy Advance. Look guys, look, it's one of my greatest achievements, Wario Land 4 on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Oddly, I was able to get this one for pretty cheap. This one's around about like 35 to 60 bucks sometimes. It's kind of crazy. This one's not as bad. About 30, 40. You could probably get it for 25. I paid 17 for this somehow. So yeah, I was able to pick some of those guys up. Finally, get more Game Boy Advance games. And then up here we got Sonic Adventure, which I did. I did have a game, um, a disc only version of this, but I was able to find it with the case for about 30 bucks, which is pretty good. And then over here, we got The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, this is the first Zelda game I've had. Um, I was never really interested in the franchise, but I decided I'll try to pick this one up and see how I like it. And I do actually really like it. It's a pretty good game. So I'll try to get some of the other ones, like uh, Ocarina, Majora's Mask, and like Tears of the Kingdom, if I could find those for good enough deals. And then over here, we have these two, which um, I, I did have before. I don't like the Nintendo Selects, so <laughs> I was able to pick these guys up. I somehow got this one for $2. I don't know how, and then this one's $9. Um, but yeah, I'll try to try to sell these guys since I don't really have a use for them anymore. And I just really like how the box art looks without the stupid Selects on it. I, <laughs> I don't know why I hate it so much. Um, I have Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon um, that has a Selects. I'll try to get another version of this one soon. And I also have a Mario Kart DS. Um, which is just kind of a poor condition case, so I think those are the only games I'd I'd want to just replace But yeah, I'm glad I was able to get these two paper Mario is kind of expensive So I was kind of worried about that, but I was able to get it for really cheap somehow So down here we got Sonic Generations and Need for Speed Rivals I did actually forget to put something in here, so so give me a second. It's actually right here I got an expansion pack. You may have heard me say Majora's Mask earlier like how is Bro gonna play that? That guy over there, that, he's gonna help me. And got this guy. Like, how is, how is Bro gonna play Donkey Kong 64 by Rare on a Nintendo 64? Well, I've got the expansion pack, because I guess they don't know how to make games the, the right size. Anyway, over here we got a Game Gear uh, Sonic Chaos. I bought this because, you know, it was, it was cheap, um, just to test for the Game Gear. And this guy is not working properly. So, like, um, I can show you what what we're working with here I pop a game in here and turn bro on and it's only doing that and when you look at it 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 just doesn't it's not working right so I got it for about 30 bucks well 30 38 I think it was um, which isn't too bad with how much they are now but I looked into it it seems to have a capacitor issue so I can just open it up you know buy some new capacitors and solder them on which that'd be a fun project i guess hopefully i don't know i'm scared anyway we have some n64 here shockingly got a decent amount of n64 and a couple gamecube ones we got goldeneye 007 i got this for i think it was 11 dollars. i wasn't too interested in this game but i had it on my list of games that i did want and then finding it for a cheap price i'm like why not let's just pick it up and then we got banjo kazooie i do really like the rareware games because i have I think right here I have rare replay on the Xbox and I played some conquer because that game's goofy and I <laughs> I kind of looked into some some more rare rare games and I saw this one this one looked cool too there's also banjo Tui, but that's more expensive um, I'll just try to beat this one first and then I might try to pick that one up and then here's another rareware game but Donkey Kong 64 this game is goofy we got the Monkey 
And then lastly, for the month, we have two GameCube games. Again, these aren't in order, um, so yeah. But we got Mario Strikers. Both these are complete, which I'm just I'm just happy to get complete games. Some of my games aren't complete because, you know, it's hard to... Hit. Let me show you. There we go. It's hard to get complete games. Um, I picked this guy up for, I think it was around 40 bucks. That's not too bad. I don't know how much it is usually. I think it was around... 60 or 80 or something kind of ridiculous and then Star Fox Assault. I've been kind of looking into more Star Fox games I played the 64 one on my modded Wii Don't tell anybody and uh, yeah, I, th I thought it was really interesting and then kind of looked them up And I thought this one looked the most interesting to me and unfortunately it was the most expensive But I was able to pick it up for about 35 bucks with free shipping too. wonderful and yeah, it's I, I, I really like it. Apparently it's not got a great rating, but I don't know. I enjoyed it a lot <laughs> with the little bit that I've played it so far. So, yeah. This is this month's purchases. I should... Get one second. Okay. Now, this is this month's purchases. I should kind of go over this guy. I picked him up for, I think it was 40 bucks at the game store. So, yeah, I don't think that's too bad of a price. Um, I don't know. These things are ridiculous on eBay. I was, lo like, looking them up. Like, 50 to 60 like, sometimes $80. I don't know. People just overpriced the hell out of those things. But, I don't know. I'm glad I finally got one. And I got Donkey Kong 64 soon after I was able to pick this guy up. So, yeah. Now, that is everything I got this January. Um, I don't think next month is going to be too crazy. Because I kind of went, went a little crazy this month. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I guess I'll see you next month. Goodbye.